Hi, my name is Ray Williams. Uh, we're here at Yesler Terrace. I'm talking about Yes Farm. Uh, I'm the uh, managing director of the Black Farmers Collective. Yes Farm was created as a space to keep African American presence in the central area to uh, engage community around uh, urban farming. We at the Black Farmers Collective feel that learning how to grow a little bit of your own food is one of the best things you can do for your physical and social emotional health. We're partnering with a lot of um, organizations through students. We partnered with iUrban Teen to bring an after-school program uh, for students this spring. We're partnering with uh, Institute for Systems Biology to bring um, high school students to the Summer Youth Employment Program, both to, uh, to give them a great opportunity to work in the city, to learn about urban farming, and then to use that sort of hands-on knowledge to then get a better understanding about how systems work. I think our, our model is that if we can have students um, do some work and really understand a system in terms of an urban farm, then we can add some science on top of that and they can process that and, and really get a deeper understanding of what systems are and how they work and um, how they can be affected. Our hope is um, the students will be able to bring this experience back to their schools and communities. So when we create Urban Farm, we're really looking at recreating a natural system. So we have to look at all the uh, inputs and outputs that a natural environmental system would have. With an Urban Farm, we have extra problems. So we're right next to the freeway, so we have to worry about air pollution and noise pollution. We're not sure what sort of chemicals have been deposited in the soil. So we continue to have folks cutting through the fence and moving through, so we have to look at it even in a broader spectrum than we would actually just going out to some natural land. And then we look at ways to mitigate those problems on our urban farm in terms of, of uh, larger looking at a system like that. One of the members of the Black Farmers Collective actually has a farm in Auburn and they grow food out there and then bring it in um, to the city and have farm stands. Our hope is that the produce that we start to develop at the Yes Farm can then get into that stream uh, sort of a local food system really, in terms of, um, again, bringing healthy food in. Part of our efforts is to stem the uh, displacement. So there's been a lot of displacement in Seattle from the Duwamish people being displaced originally to the gentrification and displacement of folks in this neighborhood. We've come in and really activated a space that was an urban blight for quite a while. Um, homelessness, lots of garbage, so the fact that we're, we're on the site is, is improving that. I know the neighbors are, are happy that there's a, a nicer space down there. We're also engaging in the uh, Yester Terrace community. So when I look into the future, you know, about Yes Farm, I, I, I really see a, a, a little jewel in the city. A public space where people can come and learn about urban farming and have a nice environmental space. A space for education for students, a space for uh, a community farm to have some economic development and then and the connections to the community.